Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Neve Padma and I will be guiding you through this quick lunch break session this afternoon. So whether you're having a quick break from work or you've got some time in the middle of your day, it's a great way to stretch out your body and waking yourself up again for the afternoon. So to start today, we're going to start on our feet. So maybe you've had an active morning already. So just come to a comfortable standing position, mountain pose, Tadasana, as we like to call it in the yoga community. Feet are hip width distance apart, underneath your hips. Arms are relaxed, fingers are stretched wide. Close down your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, let it all out through your mouth. Let's do that a couple more times round. Inhale deeply, feel your breath entering through your body. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Amazing. On your next inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Reach through your fingers. Hold onto your left wrist with your right hand and stretch over to your right hand side. Inhale, come back to center. Hold onto your right wrist with your left hand and stretch over to that left side, really opening up through your body. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your arms to a cactus position and just come to this slight back bend. So opening up your chest. Maybe you've been sat over a computer or a laptop this morning. So it's great to open up your chest here, bring your shoulder blades to meet behind you. Inhale, let's bring those arms back up to the sky. And as you exhale, dive forward over your legs to this nice forwards fold. Maybe you hold on to each of your elbows. Maybe you sway side to side. Option to also bring those hands behind your knees. Also swaying side to side. When you feel ready, bring your hands to your shins. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forwards fold back over those legs. Amazing. Inhale, roll all the way back up to standing. Again, let your arms follow, reach through your fingers. And exhale, forwards fold. Amazing. So let's get right into it from here. As you inhale, lift your chest, step your right leg back, come into this low lunge position. So hands are on the ground, on the in, on the outside of your foot and just sway backwards and forwards here. So left hand is on the outside of your, of your mat. Left hand is on the outside of your left foot, sorry, right hand is on the outside of the mat. Inhale, open your left hand up. Amazing, follow your fingers as you sway backwards and forwards here. Always an option to drop this knee if that feels more comfortable for you. Amazing, Alt alternatively as well, always an option. Circle this left hand around here. Nice fluid movements. Again, opening up that chest and your shoulder. If you've been typing or in one particular movement for this morning, really opening up the shoulder here, creating these big circles. Amazing, one more time round. And as you inhale, bring this hand back to the earth. Let your right knee drop to the ground, straighten this left leg, coming to your half splits. So inhale, lift your chest up here, pressing this right foot into the earth. Exhale, let your chest fall back down to the ground. Amazing, so left foot here is engaged. Toes are coming towards your face. You might feel a really nice stretch here along the back of your hamstring and your calf. Again, if you've been sat still or doing any still movement this morning, this is great position for really activating those legs. 
great. Inhale, let's walk those hands back to the front of the mat, tucking your right toes. And again, opening this left hand up, making circles with your arm. Let's do this five times round. Amazing. Hand comes back to the earth as you step this left foot back to your right foot. Option to drop your knees or keep them lifted as you lower your chest down to the earth. Inhale, scoop up to that cobra, opening your chest. And exhale, send your hips back to your feet. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up for your downwards facing dog. Amazing, so take a moment here to pedal out your feet. Maybe it's your first downwards facing dog of the day, so do whatever feels good for you and your body. Maybe you look under your arms. Really good. And your next inhale, let's lift that left leg up to the sky. Really point your toes. Imagine you have a piece of string pulling your toes up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring your knee to your chest as you plant that foot back down exactly where it was before. Maybe you drop this right knee, maybe you keep it lifted. As you inhale, lift both arms up to the sky to this high lunge. So from here, you want to be tucking your hips under, keeping them squared forward. So you feel this nice pull along the, this front of your thigh. As you inhale, keep those arms lifted. Really good, inhale. And exhale, bring your chest forward as you step forward with that right foot back to your forwards fold. Inhale, lift, rolling your spine back to standing. Reach up through your fingers. And exhale, dive back forward over your legs. This time, step your left foot back, right foot is forward. Again, option to drop your knee here or keeping it lifted. Left hand is planted on the earth, right arm circles round. So you really want to be opening up your chest here, bringing your arm back. Maybe you follow your fingers with your eyes. Remember, always drop this knee if that feels more comfortable for you. One more time here. Plant your right hand back by your right foot. Drop that left knee if it was lifted. Straighten your right leg, walking those hands back to your half splits on your right hand side. Inhale, lift that chest. And exhale, fall over your legs. Amazing. So wherever you land is amazing. Again, if you have blocks here, hold on to those blocks. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, melt forwards. Really good. So maybe you feel it along your hamstrings here. Flexing that foot, bringing your toes towards your face. As you inhale, walk your hands back towards the front of the mat, lifting your left knee. Wonderful, step that right foot back to your high plank. Option here, drop your knees or drop your chest all the way down to the earth. Inhale, scoop up for cobra. Opening your chest, opening up all that front side of your body that might have been stuck and stagnant this morning. And exhale, push back to your downwards facing dog. And again, you're here for two breaths. So do what feels good for you here. Keep the movement fluid. Keep the body moving. As you inhale, lift that right leg up to the sky this time. So again, you have that string on the top of your toe, pulling your foot up. Inhale, bring your knee to your chest as you plant your foot down exactly where it was before. Circling that right hand round. We'll do that five times this time. It's optional always to drop this left knee. Let's really open up through your chest here. Wonderful. 
plant your hand back on the earth after you've done that five times round lift that left knee and step back up to the front of the mat into your nice forwards fold again maybe you want to hold on to your elbows here and sway side to side keeping the movement fluid really good inhale let go of those arms roll your spine back up to standing keep your arms moving inhale reach up to the sky and exhale forwards fold inhale halfway lift exhale forwards fold from here let's step that right foot back lift both arms up to your high lunge plant your right sole of the foot on the ground as you open up to your warrior two pose amazing so look over both of your fingers here are they in line with one another keeping your, your knee above your ankle reach forward with your left hand reverse that warrior so right hand comes to your back leg left hand is over again feeling this nice side stretch through your body inhale come back to center and exhale square your hips pointing forward as you come back up onto your toes into this high lunge position amazing inhale reach up through your fingers and exhale bringing that right hand back down to the earth again circling round with your left hand beautiful we're going to do this again for four times five times amazing after your five ta fifth time is completed place left hand onto the mat onto the outside of your left foot straighten this left leg so you might want to bring your right foot forward a little bit for this one into your triangle pose so both toes are pointing to the top of your mat as you inhale lift your chest and as you exhale let your chest pull back over your leg wonderful and you can just stay here for up to five breaths here with each inhale lift and with each exhale melt back over towards your legs i'm in mexico right now so there is lots of mosquitoes and bugs trying to bite me <laughs> inhale lift up and exhale melts back over little rascals <laughs> amazing as you inhale bend that left knee bring your right foot back planting both hands to the ground into back into this low lunge and gently bring your right hip down to the earth so you're on the outside of your right foot outside of your left foot here circle this left hand round bringing it towards your leg amazing so you should feel a really nice stretch on the outer outside of your thigh here as you inhale circle that left hand back round to your foot stepping back to your high plank and moving through your vinyasa so option to drop your knees or bring your chest all the way down to the ground as you inhale and scoop through for your cobra or up dog exhale press back to your downwards facing dog this time inhale lift that leg straight away three-legged dog left leg inhale knee to chest exhale plant your foot down on the earth lifting up with your hands on the inhale and exhale bring this right foot forward to land in chair pose so chair pose hips are low knees are above your ankles have a peek down can you see your toes inhale bring your arms back exhale lift and rise all the way up to standing hands come to your heart center take a deep inhale here and exhale <sighs> wonderful let's do all that on the other side inhale arms come back up to standing exhale melt forwards with your arms inhale lift halfway exhale let's step that left foot back this time so right leg is forward left foot is back 
Right arm comes round, making the circles again with your hand. Five times round. Amazing. Bring that right hand back to the front of the mat as you inhale, lift your arms to the sky, high lunge. Plant your left sole of the foot on the ground. Open up for warrior two as you bend into this right knee. Wonderful, so take a peek over your fingers here. Are they in line with one another? I like to imagine the body as lines of energy. Inhale, reach forward with your right hand. Flip your right palm, reverse your warrior, bringing your hand up to scrape the, the sky. Wonderful, so left hand is back towards your leg or back hitting a mosquito away. <laughs> As you inhale, come back up to your warrior two. Turning back up, up onto the toes of your left foot as you come to this high lunge position. Inhale, reach through your fingers. And exhale, bring both hands to the earth as you come onto the outside of your right foot. Outside of your left. Left hip goes towards the ground as your right arm comes back towards your leg. Amazing. Inhale, lift that leg back round lifting your knee bringing your right hand back to the front of the mat step back to your high plank and again move through whatever vinyasa feels good for you so maybe knees come down chest follows scoop through for your cobra and exhale this time sitting back in your child's pose for a moment you have two breaths here As you inhale, lift back up to your tabletop position, tuck your toes, hips come up to your downwards facing dog, left leg lifts up to the sky. Sorry, my mistake, right leg lifts up to the sky, three-legged dog. Got mixed up with our legs then. Inhale, bring your knee to your chest. Plant your foot down on the ground as you lift your hands up to that high lunge. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, bring your chest forward to let your feet meet back to that chair pose. So again, hips are back. Imagine you're literally sitting on a chair. Knees are above your ankles. Maybe your arms come back to aeroplane. Maybe your arms are up to the sky. Inhale, come back up to standing. Hands come to heart centre. Catch your breath if you'd lost it at any point during that flow. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale. Wonderful. Inhale, bring your arms up to the sky. Slower this time as you exhale. Down to the earth, down to your forwards fold. Bend your knees. Bring your hips back to the earth as your legs come out in front of you. Inhale, lift your hands to the sky, flexing your toes. Gently fold over your legs, letting your forehead come down to the earth. Remember keeping with that breath, guys. So with each inhale, you lift and with each exhale, your chest melts down. And I always say try and fold from the chest here. So rather than bending the spine, fold with the chest first. Amazing, inhale, roll that spine back up. Again, bringing both feet down to the mat. Hugging your knees, giving yourself a nice hug. Opening the knees to the sides, bring the soles of your feet together as you gently lie back on your mat for this reclined butterfly pose. Maybe you want to place each hand on your thighs to press those knees down a little further.
Wonderful, guys. Take a deep breath in here. Inhale. And exhale. Windscreen wiper your legs side to side. Again, just getting that fluidity into your hips and your knees. Amazing. And when you feel ready, bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a final hug. Do you rock backwards and forwards? Rock back up to your seated position. Amazing. Thanks so much for flowing through with me this afternoon, guys. Hope you have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe below. And I hope to see you back here again soon.